guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of season 2 of My Next Life as Villainous. It's gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hey, Katarina. Oh, expressing his love for you every single day. <laughs> Keith! Keith disappear part one. Oh God. Mm. Katarina. Yeah, because there's no way in hell you're normal, baby. This <laughs> That was a little mean. Oh, Mary Ellen. Mm, yeah, maybe you should hop to it. So, your best girl, Maria. Oh, I know that feeling, babe. I I get that. Excuse me. <laughs> Keith, 
Where are you going? Yeah, and I definitely don't think she wants to be royalty. No, no, finish what you wanted to say. Hmm, baby. You never want to bottle that in. Trust me, I know. As someone who does that shit, it's not good. He's gone. Baby ain't there. Do you think Keith probably got kidnapped? Or he ran away from home? <laughs> Ain't your betrothed, but mainly you, babe. So you should go out and find him. Yep, I'm gonna eat me some Cheez Its. Mm -hmm. mm, probably. You go look for him. But seriously, you go out and go look for him. Better. Yeah, but okay, let's say after you apologize, he still doesn't come home. What are you going to do about that?
So then, okay. Why don't you make it a group effort? You invite everybody. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, of course you are going to go. Gerardo, this isn't a trip on romance, bruh. See, but that still scares me, though. See, once again, let's just go ahead and make this a group up or get everybody. Well, mainly that's because he loves you so much, Katarina. And he appreciates everything you give to him. Are you sure about that, though? Well, I think, yeah, the teddy bear's going to sniff it. Yeah. Good.
You just smell Katerina. I don't know. Something about this teddy bear a little fishy to me. She'll be fine. Yeah, you could just be having a moment. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, because this isn't a lovey, well, it is a lovey-dovey moment, but we don't have time for that. We're looking for Keith. Still, I, I don't know about this damn teddy bear. <laughs> Oh. And that's when you found your true love. Mm -hmm. Of course. That was just so cute. That just reminds me when somebody, you know, <laughs> when you give someone a really good book. <laughs> yes. When she got that magic book, it was like... Boom, reading it in 24 hours. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Honestly, their talk is nice. I think they needed this. Right? But it seems like he's gone pretty far. Mm. 
Keith. Oh, you're okay. Of course, you were kidnapped. But by who? Hmm? Your mom? Yeah, you went with her. Oh, there's that one chick. No, I don't want to wait until next Friday. Please save Keith. Oh my God, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He's in his own personal hell once again. Like, oh, baby boy. Oh my God, no. No, please save him, damn it. Oh my God, of course, someone from your past is literally here just to fuck everything up. So, of course, he probably, some, okay, this is probably what happened. <clears throat> His mother, half-brother, and I'm guessing maybe sister crazy bitch with the blue eyes that are pretty as fuck, um, forced him to write that note and say, yeah, he was running away in order to kind of get Katarina and everybody kind of off of his tail and such. But now he's being held captured. And who knows if he's ever really going to be able to get out and see, you know, light again and also have freedom. Oh, God, this hurts. I don't like this. No. He precious baby boy. Oh, my God. No. Why did you do that? That's so mean. So, so, so mean. Like, Y'all do the damnest things. <laughs> Y'all do what I do it just to see me get hurt and cry over characters and such. Ooh, but let's thank God I didn't cry because, like, that hurt. It really, truly. Seeing any of these characters in this series get hurt, scream, cry, whatever, like, you feel something. You feel um some type of way, especially. But, like, hearing Keith getting beat up, like, oh, my God. Mm -mm. I can't even imagine if they had shown it. I probably would have been just, like bursting tears and said but I really hope Katarina is able to find him next week because the relationship of Keith and Katarina it is so sweet out of everything Keith has been through his own personal hell his damnation and everything being a mistress son and such and having someone like Katarina in his life to begin anew and start anew and being you know his, it, her, I can't speak. <laughs> um, the, his, his older sister and stuff. Well, not even older sister. Being the sibling of Katarina. There we go. Because I always get, I hate when I do that when I get confused and I'll say something. Um, and having a sibling like Katarina. Like, of course, he's one. Really. But I, just now going back to poverty and 
and somewhere where you really you know you truly didn't want to be in of course like it's gonna be scary but I do hate the fact that you know someone from his past came up and she's like oh hey can you help me and you know that she's bad but you as a person was like you know what I'm gonna go and I'm not gonna say that it's his fault but in a way it is he's the one who chose that but he didn't know what was going to happen. And now his older sister, the only one who can truly save him, has to hurry up and find his fucking ass and save the shit out of him and beat the crap out of everybody else. And, you know, maybe even kill him. I'm okay with killing, just in case. Only if we necessarily have to. But I'm just saying. You know, when it comes to Keith and really almost every freaking character in this harem, we beating everybody's ass in order to save them because they're too important, they're too fucking precious, and I love them so much. But this was a really sweet episode. I mean, still to have, like, cute little moments between Katarina and Keith, and then Keith saying what he said, but not going through and finishing his sentence. It makes you wonder what he was going to say and ask her about Dorado. I'm guessing it's like, do you still have feelings for him? Like, even though you don't want to be married to him and you feel like you can't be a royal if you do marry him do you still have something towards it because yeah at the end of the day Katarina's gonna have to choose and we're getting very very close to the end of season two hopefully this gets to season three and such so then you know we get another year where she has to choose against somebody and such because you know you just need it. I'm just saying. Come on now. But other than that guys that was my reaction to you towards episode <laughs> episode nine of season two of my next life as a villainous if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for episode 10 bye guys